the weather's crazy. <laughs> I, re I remember very severe rainstorms where we were worried that we were going to get flooded. And we were on the 12th floor at the time. <laughs> we're going to die. <laughs> and, but mostly the crazy weather is the snow. It snows so much. And we, most of us had cars, but some people were walking in the snow. We would get a couple feet of snow. They would not plow the roads every time it snowed. They would kind of wait till the end of the season-ish to plow the roads. They would just put gravel on the roads. <laughs> and so everything in the winter is always dirty, always snowy. And then when they did plow the roads, they would put all the snow in one big pile and it would just become this huge ice hill that lasted all year round. Many missionaries had car getting stuck problems in the snow all the time. <laughs> I bought my jacket online before I came and brought it with me and I was so grateful for that, especially because preparation days are really short and your trainer is not native to Edmonton, so he or she may not know where the best places to get winter clothing are. And everything is more expensive in Canada. <laughs> so my personal advice when I meet people is to get as much of the warm, more expensive clothing as possible beforehand. Have a warm jacket because the work is already hard and you're going to be outside a lot. And so if you wanna make really hard work, really, really, really hard, have a bad jacket and bad shoes. <laughs> but if you wanna make hard work, just stay hard work, then have lots of layers of socks, warm shoes, warm waterproof shoes, and a long jacket, a hat, gloves, everything. <laughs> it also gets hot in Canada, so don't just bring warm clothes, also bring short, shorter sleeved shirts. <laughs>